Hey everyone, it is Caleb. Welcome to 2021. I hope all of you are as excited as I am. I have a lot of cool updates I want to share with you. So the very first thing is we are currently working on a new office setup. So I was blessed in that I had a fairly successful course launch towards the end of last year, which gives me a little bit of revenue to one, hire someone to help me just with like emails and, you know, customer support and all of those things I don't want to do, but definitely need done. And then two is to get some new gear and some new setup. So it's going to be really, really awesome. And I'll be able to create videos so much easier having this consistent setup where I can switch from the camera to my code and not have to do a ton of editing after the video is recorded. So basically we're going to have a camera hooked up to the computer directly so I can essentially use it as a 4K webcam. And I'm hoping that it's just going to completely increase the quality of my videos, having a 4K camera and a 4K monitor. I think technically it's 5K, but we're going to be exporting at 4K. And so that's going to be the first thing for me is the videos here on my channel are going to be much higher production quality. So we're getting a new camera, new microphone, and we're going to be exporting to 4K. And we're going to have that engagement of switching back from this view, which hopefully everyone here likes. Let me know if you have any suggestions. I still got to work on some of the lighting and stuff like that, but we're going to be switching views. So we're going to have that additional engagement of not just staring at a computer screen or staring at my face the whole time like you're doing right now. So that's the first thing. Production quality is going up. Content quality, which I ultimately think is the most important thing, is also going up as well. So traditionally I've posted, you know, a bunch of videos all at once or, you know, the videos haven't really been up to my standards and it's not something I'm super proud of. But now I'm changing all of that and we're going to a twice a week posting schedule here on my YouTube channel, which is something I've been experimenting with for the last month. I don't know if any of you watching have noticed, but all of December and even some in November, I was posting just two videos a week. But these videos, in my opinion, were a lot higher quality and had a much better performance when they were first published. So I think overall that's going to help my channel perform better because we no longer just have Python tutorial 764. Instead, we have a dedicated video that you can watch by itself. And ideally we get to the point where the viewers, you guys, you, you right there can come back and watch every new video I release and always come to find something that's helpful and not just something that's part of a larger sequence. Now I do have a few little series here and there planned, you know, mini series, but we're really going away from like the hundred part series. Now, some of you might not be happy about the switch from large continual series to individual videos or mini series. And I do have a potential solution to this problem. All of these longer series, I'm still going to make this content, but these will be moved to my course platform, codebreakthrough.com. And I'm also maybe going to experiment some with Udemy as well. So we'll see what 2021 brings in terms of where I'm putting those courses. But as of now, I'm hoping to create four courses this year, one each quarter. And I'm gonna hopefully host those on my website, codebreakthrough.com. So what courses do we have planned? Well, I already promised you guys a Python projects. So that's my very first course I'll be producing. And basically the theme of this is applied Python. I want to get as hands-on and create as many different things that we can and learn Python in a more practical way. So that is my first course. And I'm not really sure on what other courses I want to create and we'll see how long that one takes because I might be totally overestimating or underestimating how long this course takes. So maybe I'll only be able to get two courses out in 2021, but if those courses are really high quality and you guys enjoy that content, then I'm happy. Okay, I kinda wanna get four, but two is still pretty good. And for one of these courses, I want it to be similar in nature to my Python bootcamp that I launched at the end of the last year. For this course, I had an open close system where it was open for eight days or so, and in order to get into the course after those eight days, you have to wait till it reopens. So I'm reopening Python Bootcamp probably towards the summer sometime. I haven't really figured out the exact day, but I want to basically open the Python Bootcamp every six months and then offer another course that I can offer every six months open close. 
but offset it by three months. So that works out to releasing a course once every quarter, which this is a course I wouldn't have to recreate every single time because it's all recorded material, but I would be able to basically build some excitement about each one of these course launches. Now I'm not gonna be advertising that every single video, it's just something I want to have people looking forward to who are interested. So that's the very first thing, and then I'd probably just talk about it once, once the launch gets closer. I'd do a video, hey, we're getting ready to launch Python Bootcamp, and then during that week of the launch, I would talk about it in, in the videos for that week on YouTube, and then the, the course would close, and we wouldn't talk about it again for a couple more months. So yeah, to conclude the little course thing, I want to release four new courses, one being a Python projects, and then one being a course that is open close every six months. I'm not really entirely sure what I want to do on, in terms of the, the topics. So if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I will heavily consider it because I'm actively planning what courses I want to do. So I'm looking for what you all want to see. Some ideas I have are, you know, doing a Python machine learning data science-y bootcamp in addition to the Python bootcamp, which is just general Python, or maybe doing a course um, that's not Python related, maybe just like software engineering or something like that. I really don't know what to do it on, so I really do want your opinion. And then maybe just some mini courses that I can offer all the time. So I was thinking about maybe doing one on Jupyter Notebooks or one on Git, GitHub. Let me know what you think of those as well. Now, personally, in terms of software development and skills, I'm focusing this year on expertise and continuing my understanding of Python specifically, but also the surrounding technologies. So, you know, web development, machine learning, even some front end web development I'm hoping to get into. So basically taking the skills I have in Python now and applying those to a little bit bigger problems of, you know, full stack web development, machine learning models and deployments and so forth. Now, in terms of content on YouTube, it's gonna be largely Python focused, but I still wanna have a variety and create content that a lot of people can enjoy. So don't just expect purely Python content on this channel. That's going to be my personal study focus, but lately I've been posting videos that more people can enjoy, such as videos on Git and GitHub or forking and all of that stuff as well. Also, I want my videos to be more course or crash course style content. So, you know, instead of doing a five minute video, doing a 15 minute video or an hour long video, as that seems to be doing the best on my channel. And you can't just talk about Python over and over again for two videos a week for an entire year. So we definitely have to come up with some new topics. Um, also might just experiment with some new styles. So maybe some comedy around tech, you know, or maybe live streaming, which we've been experimenting with. The content here on YouTube remains free. However, if you are interested in courses, then you can subscribe to my newsletter, first of all, and continue to watch these videos because I'll do course announcements. Now, if you want to support this channel besides these courses, then what you can do is you can support me on a bunch of different avenues that I'm announcing here. So the very first new one is GitHub Sponsors. So this is something new for me. Basically, this is similar to Patreon in that you can support me every month. So it's just like a monthly recurring donation. But the thing here, this is the platform that I get 100% of what you donate, which isn't something I can say about these other options. Second is Patreon. This is a more uh, accepted form of monthly payment right now, but I think GitHub sponsors has a lot of potential. But if you want to support me on Patreon, I get the majority of that money, like 95% or something like that. It's a really high percentage. Next up is YouTube membership. This one, the percentage is pretty awful for me. However, it's very convenient and a lot of people already set up on YouTube. So with that, I'm offering access to some private videos. All of the recorded live streams that we do will be available. And I'm working with graphic designers to make little like <laughs> little emojis just for YouTube members. But that's what that little join button is next to the subscribe button that you can click that and basically pay a monthly fee to get access to all these live streams. Then if you're more traditional, you don't want to do the monthly subscription, 
then you can, can just donate through PayPal. So I'll leave a link for that as well in the description. Thank you for all of the donations. Now, I just wanted to make it clear that you don't have to donate. This content here on YouTube is enough if you just want to watch these videos. That's fantastic. But I did want to give that option because a lot of you actually ask me, wow, do you have a way for me to donate? Or, you know, I want to contribute. Well, here is that answer. All those links are in the description. And heck, I might even put a Bitcoin wallet address on there. I don't know. We'll think about it. Now, in terms of incentives, I'm not really doing any incentives except for the YouTube membership, which is to access the live streams. However, all of this is experimental. I might add some incentives. And I do plan on rewarding people who support, but it's just going to be on a whenever I feel like it basis. So for example, with my Python bootcamp course, I offered the highest discount to my patrons. So whoever bought it through Patreon saved actually more money than what they ended up donating to me through Patreon. So it, they actually ended up saving them money and I got that course sale and their support on Patreon, so it helped me out as well. So that's the, the big goal and just to in, improve my health and not torture myself in the process of making videos, not working 12 hours a day and so forth. So we have a lot of good things coming. I hope you are all excited. Please be sure to leave a comment suggesting any courses you would like to see and any future content as well. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.